Jane Lynch, well, she's done it all. Blockbuster movies, Emmy-winning TV, she's a game show host, and now, once again, she is a Broadway star. Yeah, Jane's back on the Great White Way in the highly anticipated revival of Funny Girl, Jane, this feels like almost a dream come true. Indeed it is. You know, I, I grew up on the soundtrack, the Funny Girl um, Broadway album, and um, it was a big, uh, my mother and I bonded on it. And so in show business, anytime I would get like a guest spot on a sitcom or, or you know, something that was, that was good and I would re report it to her, she would send me a message back on my answering machine yeah. singing, who taught her everything she knows? <laughs> and I get to sing that song on Broadway. Oh, oh my God, that is so that's so beautiful. It is. Um, tell me about Broadway. Broadway, I know it's something. You, it's one of your great loves. It is. It's eight shows a week. Yep. It's a whole, tell us about what life is like. Well, it's very everything. Kind of did, the path narrows. Yeah. Um, you you spend your days knowing that you're going to be, perform at night, and I don't really have anything else to do during the day. So yeah. it's it's kind of relaxing. Oh, is it? <laughs> is it? it is. Yeah, because to be focusing uh -huh. on one thing. And it's all encompassing. So I've been reading a lot. Ooh, you know, I've been, been good. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm reading um, uh, Sharon Gless's uh, memoir. Oh, Sharon Gless from Cra yes. uh, Cagney. Yes, yeah, she was on. Cagney. Oh my gosh, she was such, yes. for that memoir. It is such a good book. Oh, it is great. so good. It's it's really fun. And I'm also reading a book about color. The vibratory. Uh, uh, of essences of colors and where the colors came from, how we found the dyes. I mean, we're going back to the Aztecs. Wait, 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 it's the most amazing thing. Why are you so fascinated? I love color. I, color, like I love that kind of goldenrod yeah. yellow, and, and I love the salmon pink, and and I love all the pinks and and uh, oranges in yes. this. So did yeah. you ever want to go into art, like be an artist when you were like I in did, that way? Well, I don't have that talent, yeah, yeah. and I, I like I love design, but I'm not good at it. But mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Um, you just were mentioning your mom mm -hmm. yes. and that you mm -hmm. bonded over the show. I hear that you play homage to your both of your parents mm -hmm. and your dressing room. Oh, I do. There they are. Oh. That's Frank and Eileen Lynch in 1959. I am in my mother's belly. Oh my gosh. They won a trip to New York, and they are they at won? the Plaza. Yeah, they, they won it. My dad worked at a bank and he entered some, contest. you know, contest, and he won. And they're about to see um, uh, My Fair Lady on Broadway with Rex Harrison and Julie <gasps> Andrews. Wait, what? So in utero, I was there. Do you there. feel like that's why you are I who you so. are? I think so. Because I, I just love it. I just love Did your parents the love the arts? Were they, they did. into? What, yeah. Well, they loved theater. My mother loved music, and she loved musicals. My dad loved to sing. My dad, You know, they weren't professional. And my dad was a banker, and my mother was a secretary. How, but they loved to sing. How mm. much of your success were they able to witness? Up until uh, my dad, 2003. So he passed away the year um, uh, Mighty Wind came out, so he got mm. to see that. And my mother, 2012, so she got got to see Glee and the whole... What did she think? I hosted the Emmys and oh, all that. Oh, yeah. You know, my mother's Swedish, and so she's kind of stoic, but she was very proud. It would uh, be like, you know, you, you've done very well. You know, and then she would brag to her friends, well, you know, she's, she's hosting the Emmys, <laughs> and um, she's on a hit show. And... When you first told your parents that you liked this lane, yeah. arts, were they excited for you, or were they trying to... They like were scared you, for me. They, were they? Yeah, my mother was scared for me. And I remember sitting down, uh, writing agents. I was 12 years old, and I got a, um, a, a list of agents in Chicago. And I started writing them letters, and my mother stopped, stopped me and said, listen, this probably isn't going to happen for you. And then she said, <laughs> not everybody can do what they want. And I burst into tears. And years later, she said that that was definitely how she felt that she couldn't do what she wanted. And, uh, and she, you know, projecting, projecting that onto me. And she, she said, I'm glad yeah. you didn't listen yeah. to me. She wanted to sing. She, she, she loved being on stage. Yeah. And, yeah. She loved, and she also loved, it was like she loved shopping and walking up and down Michigan Avenue yeah. in Chicago. And she became a secretary in an accounting firm there and was just, uh, you know, in her glory. Yes. Wow. You know, speaking of clothes and shopping, you posted some throwbacks that really have Hoda <laughs> and I. We love it. In hilarity. It. Can we please just roll the first one? I think yes. this please. is um, this is a picture of you. Oh, my oh. gosh. That's a real life Brady Bunch, so that's a throwback oh, yes. there. We're in our uh, 70s first clothes. Look, brilliant, brilliant I mean, idea. Can we bring Isn't that it? to Broadway? Yeah, wouldn't that be Not fun? Bad. Well, we did it at the Village Gate and they closed a year later, so I think we had something to do with it. <laughs> okay, can we show this other picture? This is, I think, an outfit that you said you love. There we go. I thought I was adorable. <laughs> but wait, you had the vest on. Got vests the... were in. Yeah, the vests were is in. Is that a tie dye? That's a tie dye. Tie dye's and you got back. 
Oh, I know. I love. I wish I had that shirt. And look, I'm oh, wearing goodness. long underwear with black Reeboks. You know why? You guys, you have co you've always had confidence. Yeah. By the way, there's a whole new generation uh, that's learning about Glee for the first time right I now. Know. Is that wild? That's that people. Great. I think it's one of those shows that just yes. keep coming back because it's so empowering and it shows kids that there's a place for you yes. out there and that people have your back, especially in, you know, in these times, it's just so hard. I mean, as parents, you, I mean, you must really just mm -hmm. worry about your kids. This is a, just a really hard time. And I think Glee just is just uh, it's something that will, you know, lift everybody up. Mm -hmm. And nothing's more powerful than a really mean gym teacher uh, getting her come up and... <laughs> It's so true, because when, when they said that, I was like, oh, I can't wait to show yeah. Glee to Mila and yeah. Poppy, because yeah. it is a show about love. It is. Mm -hmm. it, it all, but that's what it comes down to. It's they Once they're in that little choir room at, at McKinley High, Everything. they have each other's back. They raise their voice in song, and it's quite, they make a joyful noise. Jane, will you stay, oh, stay with us? We have chills. Yes. Yes.